Hey there everybody, welcome back to Envy Soap Works. Today I'm going to be working on a soap that is going to be scented in a wonderful masculine fragrance. So the soap is for the guys. The fragrance that I'm using is called Stainless Steel by Rustic Essentials and this will be the first time that I'm using this. Um, it is a really nice uh, masculine, fresh and clean fragrance. The website description of this one is um, a perfect blend of lemon and lime citrus, marine and ozonic notes, moss, tonka, lily of the valley, and a clean, watery sparkle. A fresher scent than typical manly fragrances. So I think that is a pretty good description for this fragrance. It smells really, really good. And so I'm excited to see how this one is going to turn out. So I'm going to go ahead and get my lye in. I've already um, blended up my, my normal additives here, which are the kale and clay and goat milk powder. I'm going to get my lye in, which has Tessa silk, sodium lactate, and sugar. And then I'm going to add my coconut milk at uh, Trace which I totally forgot to grab. It's not here on my table, so I'm going to have to run out and grab that because it's sitting on the kitchen counter. <laughs> I thought I was ready to rock, but I guess not. So, I'm going to go and get that really quick. Okay, so I'm back. I just went and grabbed my... Um, uh, coconut milk here so now I'm ready to go okay so I'm gonna go ahead and get this blended up to emulsification and then I will tell you guys what I'm gonna do uh, for the colors Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just stir this while I talk to you guys quickly about what colors I'm going to do. So here I have um, black. This is activated charcoal. I like to use activated charcoal instead of just black oxide. Number one, because it um, actually has an added benefit that it gives the soap of like detoxification. And, you know, it, it's just a good um, additive. So... I like using it for that reason. The second reason is it just doesn't bleed as much as black oxide does. Um, you can have a really dark black soap with activated charcoal and it doesn't bleed anything like um, the oxide. So I like using it for that reason. So I have that. Then here I have um, some, this is called graphite silver or silver graphite. This is micas and more. And then I have their Magic Blue. I've been dying to use this color again. Um, this is just a really beautiful blue. And then I have an extremely bright neon yellow. And then I have another blue. This is their, um, I think it's called Bodacious Blue Neon. So I have two blues. Um, I'm not quite sure which one I'm going to use. Um, I don't know that I'm really going to use both of them, but we'll see what I what I feel like and for this one I think I'm going to do um, just kind of like a tiger stripe I feel like doing a tiger stripe for this one so let me just um, get this another buzz really quick and then I will get my uh, batter split up and colored <laughs> And so here I'm soaping right around room temperature. I'm right about 80 degrees here. Um, so, well, over room temperature because it's closer to 70 in my house right now. But um, it's right around 80. And I am soaping with um, a small, small water discount. Nothing, nothing crazy, but I do, um, I did do a water discount. And this recipe that I'm using is my... Um, one of my really fluid recipes because I want this to um, stay somewhat fluid so I can get a good tiger stripe. So that is my plan. Now let me go ahead and get my colors mixed or split up, my batter split up for my colors. 
and we will see what blue I decide to go with. Maybe I will do both. I don't know. Okay, everybody, take a look at these really bright colors that I have. <laughs> so I think it's cool to have two colors that are just extremely bright and then have these that are just kind of, you know, very kind of, I guess, you know, neutral. So I think that's going to look really, really cool. I ended up um, saving a lot of white. I want the white to have a really strong presence in the soap. Um, you know more than just wild colors so I'm going to um, do a like I said a tiger stripe so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mix in my fragrance I'm gonna really really cross my fingers and hope that I don't have any rising I really hope um, that this one behaves well for me um, and so let's just go ahead and see how this goes Alright everybody, so um, I didn't have, I thought I may have seen a tiny bit of ricing here in the white. And yeah, you know what I do. It's so small, but I'm going to go ahead and just give it a really good blend. Because I don't want, um, it can leave a look in your soap. You can see the ricing in your soap. I don't want to have that look. I didn't get any ricing in any of the colors. Um, but I think there's more fragrance oil in the white than, you know, like ratio than the other one. So I'm going to go ahead and blend this up and get all the ricing out. And that should do the trick right there. So I shouldn't have any issues. I just blended it up really well. I really only had the smallest amount of any ricing going on. So... I um, shouldn't have any issues with that. All right, everybody. So I'm going to go ahead and get my pour going. Let me make sure that you guys are going to be able to see. I'm using my um, Essential Depot mold. I really like this mold. It um, The soap comes out of it so easy and so cleanly. This is just really one of my most favorite most favorite uh, molds. So what I'm going to do is just oops, do a stripe, simple stripe down the middle, no 
hanger, no nothing, just the pour this time. And I'm just going to alternate all of my colors and see what we get. I ended up using, going ahead and doing the two different blues because they are different enough to where I felt like um, it would add a nice element to the soap. And since I have so much white, I'm going to go ahead and put my white. everybody. Woo, that was quite a pour. Uh, well, actually, it took a long time to scrape. That's my least favorite part, I think, is the scraping and scraping and scraping at the end. But I got all of my colors out, and I really like um, the colors here, how they look. So I'm going to bang this down really quick. And I really, really like the way the top looks. In fact, I almost am tempted to just leave it as is. I do like the way that that looks. I think it's neat. I don't normally, um, let me zoom you guys in so you could see. It, it's pretty cool. I don't know. I'm, I'm, it's awfully hard for me to just leave it alone, but at the same time, I like the way it looks. And sometimes I feel like after I get to swirling, I kind of ruin it. So you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to get a toothpick because that doesn't really have huge impact on the soap. It gives it a really thin um, pattern, but, um, ooh, that's neat. I'll just go back and forth like this. I don't want it to be too frilly looking because it's a guy's soap, but there, that's cool right there. I like the way that that looks. That's pretty neat. So, you guys, I will be back tomorrow, and I will bring you along for the cut. See you in a sec. All right, everybody, I'm back to cut into this stainless steel soap for the guys, and I'm really happy with the colors, and I'm really happy with the way the top looks. Um, I had a little tiny bit of soda ash on it this morning. Um, I did go ahead and steam it off, and it looks a lot better. And as far as um, the colors go, I'm really, really happy that I did go ahead and decide to go with both colors um, of blue. They've really, um, there's a huge difference between the two. So let's go ahead and see what I got. I did just kind of like a, kind of like a drop swirl tiger stripe type. I don't know if I'm going to have any stripes in here. Because I was pretty forceful with the white when I was just kind of like dumping it in. So I don't know if I'm actually going to get a stripe or more of like a drop swirl. But so let's go ahead and cut it and see what we got. Now the fragrance on this is really, really nice. I do like, oh my goodness. <gasps> Ooh, I am very surprised that I did get such, um, 
striping in there. I thought that I kind of messed it up with um, the way that I was, you know, pouring the white. I really like how there's a lot of white and very thin stripes of this really bright yellow. That is cool. Mm, and this fragrance smells really nice. It's not, um, it's not super strong today. So I, I actually think that that is nice to have some fragrances that aren't just so in your face, especially for the guy soaps. You know, I, I don't mind a really fragrant soap, um, like for myself, but I know there's a lot of people that don't really like, um, really strong scents and they prefer a more subtle, you know, fragrance. And this one is a, um, a subtle fragrance for the guys. I really love this, um, really bright blue and I really love this yellow. I'm, I'm pretty happy that it is in really, like I said, very skinny stripes because it is so bright. So by it being in just small amounts, I think it looks really, really awesome. It might be too much if it was, you know, big, huge patches of it. It might kind of take on kind of like a clown, <laughs> you know what I mean? Kind of like clown-like. So I think this is actually really cool, and I am happy with the pattern that I got here. That's pretty with these colors. Pretty neat. Man, that yellow is so bright. It's so um, neon. It's almost like a neon green. It's a really cool color. This is the first time that I used the um, a yellow neon. Ooh, there's a, there's a little bit more of it in this one. I really like the way this soap looks. I think that turned out great. Turned out great. Perfect for a guy's soap. No hanger swirls here. <laughs> yeah, so like I said, I'm really glad that I um, went ahead and used both the um, colors of blue that I had picked out. That um, The neon blue is such a beautiful color. Let me see if you guys can see it. That uh, really bright blue. So pretty. The soap is kind of feeling a little sticky on the outside. And that's weird because this is one of my um, recipes that I use a lot. And I actually, um, this has been sitting in the mold a lot longer than I usually um, have them sitting in the mold. I wanted to cut these this morning. Now it's almost 11 o'clock at night, so I just wasn't able to get to it, and it's it's actually like pretty sticky, so I don't know. I don't know why that is. I like the way the top turned out. I just did a simple, simple back and forth with a toothpick. Oh man, that yellow is just killer. Love that. Great. I love these, um... The colorants and micas that I am using a lot lately for micas and more, they are just fantastic. I don't even remember the last time I've had a color that has morphed. That used to happen to me all the time, and it was just so, so discouraging to have, you know, the colors change on you to something that just didn't, you know, didn't go with the soap. So it's really, really nice to not have to worry about that anymore. I honestly don't even think about um, color morphing anymore because it just doesn't happen with these with these micas. So I know I talk about them a lot. It's just because I really am um, just really happy with their performance and they're just really beautiful. And you can't beat that it is a group buy so you do get a discounted prices. It's really really awesome. So these all pretty much look the same. Just a neat stripe with some um, really cool colors. I am really glad that I decided to um, reserve a lot for just plain white. 
I really, really am. Ooh, this looks neat. Look, this one's way different. See, this is what it would look like if I um, didn't use as much white and used, you know, a lot more color. I do like the way um, the white, I like the way that the one with more white looks. So, wow, I am really, really happy with this. I am happy with the scent. It is, um, it's mellowed out. It's really nice and clean. It behaved really well also. And I am thrilled with the pattern that I got here. I think it is really perfect for this soap. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I will see you on the next video. Bye.